didn't even notice this over here. Okay. So let's go up here. There you are. Actually, before I do that, nothing. Okay. All right. Well, hello, Motris. Uh, let's uh, save real quick. All right. Let's see what you got. What does pressure do? Uh, oh, that's gonna be annoying. Ice Beam shouldn't kill. Oh yeah, that's pl that's plenty. I get a good three hits off. Okay, cool. Now go to Calm Nook. Haha! <laughs> Fuck! Haha! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Try to <it. laughs> fucking. Wait, 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 hold on. Fuck. Yeah, that's right, pressure. I forgot that fast, damn it. I really forgot that fast. So I was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, fuck. Pressure. Hella close. Yo, that's gonna hurt. Eh, it didn't hurt as much as I thought. Hey, yo, Motris, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to catch you here. Okay. Um, big old boy lemonade. Good crit, good crit. Give it up. He's probably gonna run out of safeguard this turn. <laughs> he knew that and he was trying to safeguard. Hey, thank you for not safeguarding again. Go ahead, hit you with the Sean. There we go. Uh, I'm going, while well, I have the opportunity, I am going to heal up. Mm -hmm. Slappy's good. If it gets dicey, I'll switch him over slightly. Hey, there we go. Another dust ball, because this time it is dark. How did you, how did you break out on the... How did you break out before the first shake? When you were awake and had two shakes. I'll go to two shakes now. It's too late. It's too late. Here's what's about to happen. I'm about to do the stupidest play. <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. I don't need Snorlax. I just prefer if I have him for the red fight. You son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna use the fastball. Okay, you will be Yang. Oh fuck, wait, I think I named Zapdo Shang. Oh no, I gotta go change that. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, so I just got done doing probably the longest grinding session of my life. Uh, as you can see, 
uh, Cinder's pretty high level, and uh, so is everybody else. Uh, probably Asshole's the only one who's not going to get any higher. Uh, as you can see, there's a reason I had to fucking put on. To, I listen. I know it's a Nuzlocke, but I gotta have this. Like the I, that is a actual shiny ponytail. I have to have this. Like there, I no, no. You could not tell me to escape from this one. You could not tell me you already caught a pony, so you already caught something in this area. Leave it. No. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking... Bruh. Yo. Come up with a name, but I mean, like that literally the last grass I would have ran into before I got to the Pokemon Center to heal. Hold on, I need to. <laughs> Y'all understand, I need to save that was a, that was a sh that was a shiny what wait someone has pokerus who has pokerus oh shit no wonder everybody was growing so fast yo i didn't even realize we had that it's no wonder everybody was growing so fast I mean, I assume since we finally reached like level 40s and stuff, you know, but shit, that's actually fucking, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty awesome actually. <laughs> oh, sorry, don't, don't deposit. I, yo, 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 like fucking, yo. Cool that is. I know I broke the Nuzlocke rule. I listen. I don't give a damn. I was never gonna use the pony turn in the first place. Yo, that's fucking cool. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cool. I've never, I've never had a shiny pony turn, but that blue flame is so fucking cool. Also, uh. I caught a uh, Sneasel named Sophia uh, in one of the areas. Considering how large Mount Silver is, I I considered the inside of the cave and the outside of the cave two separate places. And I caught this on the outside, so I was like, eh, sure, you know, I'm like sure. So Larvitar was the inside catch, Sneasel was the outside catch, and we're just keeping it like that um bro I just like that was literally it was literally in the last patch of grass before I came in here to heal and then I was gonna use all of my repels and everything to get up to red so I didn't have to use any more PP or anything like that is fucking insane I don't care if I'm not gonna use it. I don't care if it's against the rules. I had to catch that man. It was a shiny. Like shit. If I have to, if I had to sacrifice this ponyta to have this ponyta, I'll fucking do it. Like I'll fucking do it. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking crazy. As you can tell, I have not caught a shiny that often. I have. I've only had four shinies in my entire Pokemon career. This will be the fifth. Um, ironically, I only started shiny hunting when the 3D games came out because it was like 
I'm seeing them a lot more. But this is the first 2D shiny I've ever had. And it was on a Nuzlocke. That's fucking wild. Okay, okay. Okay. <sighs> Professor L. You gonna tell me about the shiny or Pokerus? Yeah. Fucking Pokerus and a fucking shiny encounter? Like, bruh, I fucking. It's just the jackpot today. Holy shit. Y'all have no. Like, y'all have no idea how much that just fucked me all the way up. Okay, okay. Let's get Slappy in the front. Yo, man, I'm fuck. I'm fucked up. <laughs> I was just grinding without a care in the world, and then you gonna hit me with that? I just, I was not ready. I would very much proudly say I was not ready for that. <clears throat> All right, well, yeah, I will see y'all uh, when I get to the top to face off against Red, and hopefully end this Nuzlocke with a win on my first official Nuzlocke. It did not turn out perfect, but I mean, wait, I think, is it that one? Of course, I keep doing that. Uh, yeah, it did not turn out perfect, but I mean, for my first Nuzlocke, it was not that bad. So, I'm happy with it. Uh, I definitely need to look up on the rules more so that like certain things don't happen again. Or certain confusion isn't uh you know doesn't occur again but yeah <sighs> all right yeah i'll see you guys are red it kind of takes a little bit of time to get up there so i'm just gonna cut this to uh when i finally make it back to red but yeah see you in a sec <sighs> okay we're at the final battle Against red. <clears throat> All right, so I have everyone. I have everyone set. I hope. So here's the plan. We start off with asshole. I know you're probably like, why the fuck do you have Wobbuffet on your final team? Here's why. Wobbuffet, proud of his power? Yeah, you better be. Fucking Wobbuffet. Is gonna use Destiny Bond. It's gonna use Destiny Bond. Um, I never used Destiny Bond. I actually like uh, before the battle. I like went and did like a spearmint. I got another Wobbuffet to use Destiny Bond because I didn't know how it worked. I just assumed like you use it and then if you die, that's it. But it's actually got conditions that I never realized because no one ever told. Like no one ever talked about it. So I'm glad I did research because I would have been really pissed if I went to the battle and I didn't fucking <laughs> I didn't fucking know. So apparently Destiny Bond works like after you use it the next turn if you don't die and you use a move Destiny Bond is gone. Like you have to use it and next turn you have to die. Or you have to use it and then die and I didn't know that so I was like because I read destiny bond and I was like I know that exists but how does that work so I had to go test it thankfully I tested it because the opponent I used or the Pokemon I used it on I just used destiny bond to start the turn he didn't die so I used just you know I fought until I died and when I died the opponent didn't die and I was like what the fuck so then I looked it up I looked into it and apparently you had to use it die the next turn or else if you use a move before you die then basically destiny bond doesn't take effect which is abnormal to me because i would assume destiny bond is just like you used it you're locked in but that's not it apparently so it's weird anyway as you can see counter mirror coat safeguard safeguard especially i'm gonna use safeguard 
uh, before he dies. Then I'm going to use Destiny Bond. Why would I use Safeguard before he dies? Well, if you notice, he has a Focus Sash equipped. So I'll get Safeguard off. I'll get the Focus Sash so I don't die to one hit. If I'm not close to dying on one hit, then Safeguard just goes off and we're fine. Uh, and then we'll just do Destiny Bond. He, this Wobbuffet, is here to counter Blastoise. Why is it Blastoise? Because Blastoise has Focus Blast, which will hurt a lot of my counters for him. So, best thing to do for that, well, first let me explain. He usually starts off with Pikachu, just in case he doesn't start off with Pikachu, however. Uh, that's why we have him in front. So, we put Asso in front. He most likely is going to start with Pikachu. He's going to use his most powerful move, which is Volt Tackle, because he has Light Ball on, equipped on his Pikachu. He'll use Volt Tackle. Before that even hits, we'll switch to Slappy. Slappy's immune. He's not going to know what to do. He's going to use Iron Tail. We're going to be immune to Iron Tail, and we have fucking amazing defense. So Slappy's just going to take that and look at it and just Earthquake it. I We're like 11 levels below it, so I'm assuming it's going to take like two Earthquakes. But even if, you know, Iron Tail does more damage than I think, that's why we have to Citrus Berry. And he's going to be a complete foil to that Pikachu. Slappy's also going to be foil to Charizard, because obviously Fire and Flying. Uh, we have Ice Beam, but it's really not going to be that effective because, you know, Charizard's uh, Fire. So we gave him Waterfall and Surf. So just in case Charizard Special Defense looks a little bit higher than his Physical Defense, we'll switch over to Waterfall. And we'll be four times ineffected by his fire. So he's going to have to use Dragon Pulse, which we're going to be ready for because, I've, like I said, I've got that Citrus Berry and also we've got Special Defense up. <clears throat> we also have to deal with Lapras, which is Zap Zap. Zap Zap is Steel, so that Ice Typing or the Ice Type moves are not going to affect him. Uh, Lapras has Brine, which is Water Type, so it's not going to be too effective, but it can burn. So we're going to be prepared for that. We're going to have a burn heal ready. Body Slam's not going to do anything because we're still tight. The biggest worry is probably the Psychic. But I have very good confidence in his special defense. He's pretty tanky. So Zap Zap should be able to live that. I've given him Magnet. So that the electric type moves are just on point. What I'm going to do, however, when I switch him in, I'm going to immediately hit him with an X special defense because I just want to make sure we're cleared from that Psychic. And with X Special Defense, if it looks like it's a, like still a danger, we're in a Thunder Wave, and then we're Thunderbolting. If it doesn't look like it's a danger, we're just going to straight up Thunderbolt, get rid of Lapras. Then we have Cinder, of course, going for the Venusaur. Um, Venusaur is just a normal Venusaur. He doesn't even have held items on it or anything. So the most we have to worry about is Sludge Bomb, uh, getting the poison off on us, but I, I feel like we'll be fine from that. We have a Chesso Berry because that Venusaur has Sleep Powder, and the second I switch in to Cinder, he's going to immediately be like, okay, my grass type moves aren't going to work, I'm going to put it to sleep, and then I'm going to try to Sludge Bomb it to death. He didn't, like for some reason, they always the AI in this game so far has always gone status first, then damage. So, he'll try to sludge bomb me after I'm asleep, and if I use a Chesso Berry, I'm going to wake up from that sleep, and he's going to try another sleep powder. Either he'll miss, or he'll get me asleep, and then he'll start procking with sludge bomb. Or, maybe uh, the Chesso Berry procs, and he's just like, fuck it, I'm going to sludge bomb you. By that time, I've definitely gotten two flamethrowers out. He's he's definitely going to be faster than the Venusaur, so Cinder's going to hit it with two flamethrowers. We're going to be done. And then we're going to have to deal with the Snorlax. I made Tom Nook actually, uh, actually had to go back down the mountain and come back up uh, because I realized Tom Nook still had Rock Climb when I wanted him to have Protect. So I had to give him, go to the Move Deleter to delete the HM, give him Protect. Then I had to make Cinder learn Rock Climb. Uh, he had Leer, but we weren't using Leer, so I was just like, okay, let's just learn Rock Climb then. So, I had to use Cinder to get up the mountain. So, yeah. Plan here is. Made him have high defense, made him have high special defense. He's already tanky with his HP. He's going to fight the other Snorlax. He is going to come in, protect, 
against Giga Impact because the Snorlax is going to have Shadow Ball, Crunch, Blizzard, and Giga Impact. I don't know why all of his Pokemon have like Blizzard in this when we're at the top of a mountain. I don't know. <coughs> we get oh shit! Wait, is it gonna hail? I didn't even think about that. Oh fuck! I don't have any moves that like change the weather. <sighs> well, that sucks. Okay, whatever. Uh, I could try to. I could try rainy day. I could try rainy day. No, no, it's not worth removing a slot. Anyway, uh. His Snorlax is gonna see my Snorlax, is gonna realize Crunch is probably the second best attack. Shadow Ball's not gonna do anything, Blizzard's not gonna do anything. Uh, I wish Immunity can't just covered all status effects, not just poison, but whatever. But he's gonna realize Blizzard's not gonna do anything. He might think to try Crunch, but the logical approach would be Giga Impact. And if he Giga Impacts, that's when I that's probably the turn I'm gonna have Protect ready. So I'm gonna Protect, he's gonna Giga Impact. The move's gonna miss, but he's still gonna have to recharge. On that recharge, we hit him with yawn. Then he's gonna be drowsy. Then I put, then I proc protect again. Doesn't matter what he does then, because that's gonna miss. Because I'm protected, he's gonna fall asleep. We're gonna focus punch, and we have the razor claw, so that he has higher crits uh, chances. So focus punch, high attack, high chance for crit. That's gonna knock out that Snorlax, even if I have to do two. Cause that Snorlax is definitely not waking up on the second turn unless he does a full restore and even if he does a full restore guess what that's still two punches and by that point he's just gonna have to proc another full restore or you know he's gonna go back to the same song and dance we reset protect yawn protect focus punch uh, if at any time any of that goes wrong Rapunzel's here I specifically EV train Rapunzel to be the foil of that Snorlax just in case. So we have, she has ridiculously high defense, ridiculously high health to make sure that she is ready to take that motherfucker down. We would sleep powder, we would ring out, and if ring out doesn't work, we just power whip it until it dies. And I know you're probably thinking, okay, but the Snorlax has Blizzard. Exactly, that's why Rapunzel has the Focus Sash. So even if he hits me with that Blizzard, I'm gonna be fine. If it is hailing, then that's going to be a little bit of a monkey wrench because then I'm going to have to heal at the start of every turn if I know I'm about to hit get hit with like something that will probably one-shot me. So that's kind of going to be annoying, but just whatever. But yeah, she's going to get hit by that, get the focus sash off, get the sleep powder off, make it fall asleep, and then we start over. <coughs> so that's the plan. Again, we put Wobbuffet out front because Pikachu's most likely going to be his leading Pokemon. It'll go for Volt Tackle and not now, Gina. I need to save because I've been talking too long. But yeah, going to go for Volt Tackle. We switch to Slappy. It's not effective. Done deal. We're already, we're already off to the races. All right. Okay. Damn it, Gina, I'm trying to ruin the moment. All right, let's go into the final battle. Okay, perfect. He did start off with Pikachu. Okay, fuck, it is hailing. Okay, so switch to Slappy. He's gonna do Volt Tackle. Guaranteed he's gonna go Volt Tackle. Okay, okay. Really wish I had an Ice type all of a sudden. Iron Tail missed? Fucking yes! I was confident we survive on Iron Tail anyway. Uh, if he didn't survive, we had a Citrus Berry. So, no matter what, we would've been fine. But now we get to keep that Citrus Berry. And... We're totally fine. That's all good. Cool. 
Alright, the smart thing to do will be to switch to Venusaur because Grass type will be four times effective against Slappy. So if he does that, yep. Now he's gonna use Grass type move, I'm guessing Giga Impact. Not Giga Impact, uh, Giga Drain. I think I saw that. He's gonna use a Grass type move, putting out Cinder. Grass type move is not gonna be effective. Yeah, Giga Drain. <coughs> Not that effective, perfect. He sees I got a fire type here. He's gonna try to make me fall asleep first. He's trying to make me fall asleep. I'm fucking burning this thing with a flamethrower. Come on, ah, damn it. Oh damn, he went for sludge bomb first? Shit. We should survive that. Please don't crit. Oh, thank God. Okay. Fuck, that hail does a lot. Alright. He's probably going... Would he full restore here? He would totally full restore here. I'm gonna max potion. I'm gonna max potion here. Heal up Cinder. Definitely gonna full restore here. Okay. Yep. I didn't realize I had my mic off. I got so excited I turned my mic off. Okay, uh, I don't know where I lost it, but I basically was like, okay, uh, we just beat Venusaur. He's definitely gonna switch to Blastoise. And I thought about it, I was like, he would probably try to use his Hydro Cannon. And I'm pretty sure Wobbuffet will survive that. If it doesn't survive that, then we of course, uh, you know, we got Focus Ash. He used Focus Blast, which I didn't expect at all on a my fire type which is like what so I think we go safeguard because he'll probably either use hydro cannon or use blizzard so we go safeguard okay blizzard I feel like if if it crits we die I don't know how strong his blizzard is because I don't think his special is a special attack high it's not okay So we got safeguards, so now we can't be hit with status effects, which is perfect. I think...
Based on that damage, I think I survive. Unless the blizzard crits, I think I survive. So this might be perfect opportunity for Destiny Bond. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Don't crit. We fucking survived the crit. Let's go. Please hail, please hail, take me out, take me out. Come on, do 33 damage. Ah! <laughs> alright, alright, no, that's fine. So. We're not faster than it. Blizzard, take me out. Destiny Bomb propped, come on. Yes! Yes! Let's fucking go. Thank you, asshole. You fucking did the work. Alright, perfect. Alright, now that Blastoise is out, he only has Lapras, um, shit, he has Lapras, Charizard, and Snorlax. The best one to send out right now is Zap Zap. If he sends out Lapras, we're all set. Uh, actually, that's a perfect switch in. Uh, if he sends out Charizard, we're kind of set. We could take on Charizard, but we're not going to risk that because of Fire-type moves. But he's going to see that, go for a Fire-type move. And then we'll switch into Slappy, four times ineffective. <coughs> Knock him the fuck out. And if he doesn't, uh, what's most likely going to happen is he is going to go for Snorlax. And if he goes for Snorlax, he's going to try Focus Blast because we're Steel type. And not Focus Blast. What the fuck is it? Oh wait, no, no, that was Blastoise. So no, for Snorlax, you probably try, probably try Giga Impact, wouldn't you? Shadow Ball won't do anything, Crunch will barely do anything, Blizzard's not going to do anything, so he has to go for Giga Impact. And for that, we switch in Tom Nook. He'll eat that shit, like no problem. He'll eat that shit, he'll yawn, he'll protect, we've got our setup, everything's good. So Zap Zap is the logical choice to switch in. Oh, please be black person. Ah, damn it, Snorlax, okay, that's fine. Alright, switch to Tom Nook. We're not actually that much of a level difference, so we really are gonna almost guarantee survive this Giga Impact. He chose Crunch. That Crunch did a lot. Like, that Crunch did a lot. Alright, but he sees Crunch didn't do enough. He's gonna go Giga Impact for sure. Really? You're using Crunch? I want to protect by safeguard. That kind of sucks. Actually, that kind of sucks. Okay. I'm going to start with a potion. Actually, let's go Moo Moo Milk because I have way too much HP. <laughs> Alright, let's do Moo Moo Milk. If he goes for another crunch, I don't know why, but he'll probably he's probably proccing crunch. So if he's going for another crunch, I'll just yawn. Blizzard, why would you do He's doing everything but the smart choice of Giga Impact. I'm not even sure what he's doing. But he's trying to make sure I freeze? If that was it, I'll tell you right now, that was another move. Alright. I kind of don't have any choice but to go for Yawn now. He's probably going to... Like, this will probably be the moment he uses Giga Impact. But I'm going to go Yawn. No, still Crunch. Crunch can't make me flinch. It can only lower my defense, so I'm fucking perfect. Lowered my defense, which honestly might have been what he was setting up for for Giga Impact, but it doesn't matter. So here's. Here is. Maybe he thinks Giga Impact is too risky for another Snorlax. Maybe that's what's going on. Hit him with that Protect. Blizzard, not even a problem. Alright. Now, I gave Tom Nook a Razor Claw, so not only do we have Focus Blast now in our pocket, or Focus Punch now in our pocket, the Razor Claw ups our critical hit chance. So, we're gonna be fucking set. He should've used the full restore right there, I don't know what the hell he's doing. If that does not kill him, then we're in for a long battle. Get that HP going down. Oh, no. Hail kills him. Hail kills him. 
guaranteed. Fucking yes. Okay, we're fuck. We're golden. We are golden. Alright, it doesn't matter what he uses, Zap Zap's gonna be resistant to it, unless he uses Psychic. Yeah. Psychic is the only thing we gotta worry about here. Blizzard, not a problem. It's not that effect, but that did a lot, what the fuck. <clears throat> okay. A blizzard, which was not that effective, did that much, so a psychic might actually kill without a crit. So I don't think I actually have time to do the plan, which was to EX special defense, then go from there. So I feel like I just have to go forward with a thunderbolt. I have a magnet, so we're gonna we're guaranteed to get this. We're only five level difference. He can't have that much HP. Thunderbolt plus magnet plus stab. It's gotta be a kill. Ooh, but I got a paralyze. Come on, proc the paralyze. Run. That shouldn't kill. That should not kill. I don't care how much damage it does. Okay. We might have been fine with the EX defense. Because I don't know why he's not using Psychic. Just like I don't know why he wasn't using Giga Impact. I was about to say he's going to do a full restore. That's fine. Because he was paralyzed and low health. There was no reason he would not do a full restore. But that's fine. Shit, do I... Do I live two hails? I don't want to lose Zap Zap to this, so do I live two hails? I don't know. Let me see what the hail damage does. If it's less than 15, I live two hails. Okay, it's less than 15. Alright, we're fine. Because I didn't want to lose Zap Zap to hail of all things, so... Okay. Alright, last thing is a Charizard. And Slappy. Let's go. Most likely gonna use Flamethrower. I'd be surprised as fuck if we use Dragon Pulse. Why would you use Air Slap? Well, I've given this AI far too much credit, man. Like, I've seriously given this AI far too much credit. I didn't want the fucking Citrus Berry to be procced with that. Alright, that's that's fine, I guess. Even if you use Dragon Pulse, we're gonna lift that. So, we're gonna surf. Why are you using Air Slap? Yo, I, I've really given this AI too much credit. That wasn't a crit? My god. most likely gonna do another full restore or a potion to get his Charizard up because his blizz is gonna hurt it put it near red like he has to be like only 25% left so he's gonna do a potion he has to unless he's a madman which he might be <sighs> yeah I've definitely given the AI way too much credit it's not nearly as smart as I thought it would be so I didn't even have to worry as much as I was apparently <laughs> Didn't use a potion? You fucking crazy. That Dragon Pulse gonna do like 200. I fucking guarantee. You. What? Like I know my def I know my special defense is high, but it did that little. It's not Dragon Rush that does a set amount. So what the fuck? Your Charizard is kind of weak, man. What the fuck? There's the full restore. Okay, so he just wanted to get it down even lower, which is dumb, but okay. Right, not my Charizard, so fuck. Okay, depending on how much this blizzard or this hail hits me for, if it gets me under 150, then I might need to heal again because air slash does about 150. That's not without crit, so if it does crit, I'm, I'm really into shit. <sighs> okay. If he did, if air slash does not crit or high roll, we're good. We gotta dodge the high roll. 
You don't get the high roll. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fuck yeah. No high roll. No crit. We just won against red with no losses. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. And he just disappears. Oh my god, bruh. We just we just beat red without losing anyone. Honestly, his Pokemon were way weaker than I thought. I might have been fine just at 60. Alright. Fuck yeah, we have officially beaten Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Let's fucking go. Total death counter was eight. Oh, excuse me, nine. Total death counter was nine. We did lose someone. We lost asshole. But I mean, we <laughs> we were planning to lose asshole so I should say we had no unexpected deaths I'm not gonna say uh, asshole didn't matter asshole put in that work he put in that work hmm I love the little caption asshole took blast away down with it <laughs> that was uh that was not the end goal but damn it was that not satisfying I never even saw a fan thing. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Soul Silver Nuzlocke completed with nine deaths. Fuck me, bro. The hardest part about all of this was fucking getting to that level. Like, when I tell you, the grinding hurt so bad. <laughs> I was originally gonna only get them to like 60, 65, but then I accidentally got Snorlax. Uh, not accidentally, but I had like. Because what I did is I just did not use any repels. <coughs> excuse me. I didn't use any repels uh, after EV training, asshole, and Snorlax. So everywhere I went, I just fought, 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 fought. And then after I got all of the EV training done, I decided to climb up and back down Mount Silver about two times for each Pokemon to try and level them up. And it ended up working uh, a little too well because, as I said, uh, Snorlax ended up getting a little too much HP, and I actually, I actually got him to level like 70, and I was just like, alright, fuck it, I'm at 70, just keep fucking going. <sighs> fucking got it. Also, if you're wondering... Uh, if I used the uh, action replay code, I didn't use it again because that shit was like it was way too much experience, and I would not have been able to keep up with that. Because like at that point, I'm getting so much experience that it kind of, I think it hurted my stat gain. So I was just like, no, fuck that. I just got to do it manually, which took so long. It was so exhausting. But I remembered that Chansey has a chance to hold a lucky egg, which uh, was it Chansey? I forgot what the fuck I caught. <laughs> But, uh, I think it was Chansey. Hold on, what did I catch? I, like, have my notes here on what I did. Because uh, I already released it. Because I think, oh, I remember what I did. I had to... Right. <sighs> I had to, uh... I had to get, um, what's it called? Thief. I had to equip Thief, and I had to swipe it from Chansey 
and that was the most difficult thing. I like I was trying to <laughs> I was trying to think. I was like, do I want to break the Nuzlocke rules to get a chancy? Or do I do I need to find some other way? And I looked it up and I could use Thief to steal the item the uh, Pokemon had. So I was like, okay, f cool. So I had to find Chansey. It was very hard. Like, I uh, remember I was trying to farm that. Well, no. Actually, no. Now I remember I was trying to farm Chansey in that area. So I could have actually caught it. Okay, well, I did all that for nothing. But whatever. I got a lucky egg. <laughs> I got a lucky egg. And I just used that for uh, grinding. But it still took like hours. I could have just caught a chance. I'm so stupid, man. I could have just caught a chance. I thought I fucking, I thought I caught something on that route, but I remember the small patch of grass I was trying to catch a chance in. All right, whatever. <sighs> whatever. We beat it. No, I just just wanted to talk to you, mom. Okay. I can't release asshole from uh from right here, so I gotta go to a computer. Can I do it from my computer? No, I can't. It's gotta be Pokemon Center. Repel. <laughs> my repel was still going all this time. That's fucking crazy. Right now, I'm just going to do my post game, which is I'm going to go catch as many legendaries as I want. So yeah. Also, I'm going to go get my Bulbasaur, so I need to go to a Pokemon Center first. Yeah.
Okay. I was going to try to see if I could find Celebi, but then I remember Celebi is apparently only available in Crystal. So, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> it's like, hey, you forgot your Pokeball. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, actually fucked up. I want space open. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Thank you, everyone. You've put in work. Hunzel. You actually didn't come out and do anything, but hey, thank you. <laughs> actually didn't uh, end up doing anything, but hey, that's fine. That means that the plan went off without a hinge, so I'm fucking, I'm f fine with that shit. Okay. Whoops. Oh my god. Alright. Boy, uh, I was kind of hoping it was a girl. I'm gonna name Hibiscus. Uh, it's another tea leaf. What's a good name? Uh... Ocho, maybe? Yeah, Ocho. Or, you know what? Hold on. Midori. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't plan that, but you know what? It, it works. Kind of works. I'm here for it. Yes. Oh, I'm glad they asked that. about to say you're so used to giving that speech huh <laughs> my boy said we've done it we have done it yes we have say is that it has been quite the journey. I'm glad I've made it. I have to apologize to all our fallen comrades, but just know that we made it. Your sacrifices were not in vain. Let's go ahead and pay tribute to our fallen. 
our beloved. Thank you, Golem. Thank you, Flaps. You carried us very hard. Thank you, Ampy. You cleared two gems for us. Very difficult ones. Sorry you never got to see any battles, Sandy. I couldn't uh, I couldn't use you because I technically already caught something from the safari area. Thank you, Crow. I'm sorry you had to go to that bitch, but you were a valid comrade. Thank you, Hercule. Lees, excuse me, Hercules. I have another one, Hercule. But thank you, Hercules. You stuck out and you got me plenty of good battles. Percy, the same with you. You helped us win that Elite Four. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Nido King, being the king that you were and rocking the competition. But last but not least, thank you fucking adorable little asshole. I have a new appreciation for Wobba Fett thanks to you. Thank you to all my beloved comrades. It's because of that I now must finish the job. to say that last picture before I never see him again. I guess I'm thinking of this as like releasing their souls. I've had them in the box watching over us this whole time. Praying for our victory. But now I'm releasing them out. So they can really rest. And with that, we have completed our Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this journey. And... Whatever Nuzlocke I do next, I'll see you then. Or whatever other content I decide to make. Oh, fucking shit. That's the worst way to end it. Oh, my God.